Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you didn't catch us at the top of the show, we're going to run back some of today's top headlines. A police investigation is underway in Dallas after a 14 year old girl shot and killed an 11 year old boy when trying to shoot a girl she was having a fight with. It happened in the parking lot of an apartment complex on Sunday afternoon, right around two. Police say the boy was an innocent bystander to that disagreement. He was transported to the hospital where he later died. That 14 year old girl initially ran, but was later taken into custody and remains at a juvenile center. To Memphis now, where the police department has now uh, relieved all officers related to the traffic stop that ended in the death of Tyree Nichols. Now, according to reports, officers pulled over Nichols for reckless driving, and as officers approached, a confrontation occurred. Uh, he fled on foot. Officers pursued him and got into another confrontation before Nichols was arrested. That's when he complained of shortness of breath. He was then transported to St. Francis Hospital in critical condition where he died a few days later. The department still hasn't released details on how many officers were involved in that incident. It is a celebration for a family in New York City after the nearly month long search for their loved one is over now that their sister is home safe and sound. Samantha Denise Primus, a deaf autistic woman who disappeared just before Christmas, uh, was found on the number one train in Lower Manhattan Saturday afternoon. The family is upset to learn that 16 hours after uh, she left on December 23rd, she was taken to a Queens Hospital Center in Jamaica, only to be released at around 2 in the morning on Christmas Eve and given a list of homeless shelters. A hospital spokesperson says they are looking into the matter. And lastly, Black lawmakers have had enough when it comes to hate speech. Representative Sheila Jackson Lee of Texas has introduced the Leading Against White Supremacy Act of 2023, looking to place criminal charges on people who share hate speech. Now, according to the Congress website, uh, the bill will prevent and prosecute white supremacy inspired hate crime and conspiracy to commit white supremacy inspired hate crime and to amend Title 18 United States Code to expand the scope of hate crimes. Now, those engaging in hate speech could still face criminal charges, even if they don't act on those threats. Decorder Live, back to you. Thank you, Courtney. And now uh, off to uh, a story with regard to the Mormon church, where a black woman is accusing the Mormon church of racism. Chanel Achenbach, who appeared on the Mormon Stories podcast, is now going viral detailing her experiences of racism within the Mormon church. In the video, she explained how she was told she was not permitted to marry a white man as her, quote, seed was cursed. She was also told that she must only marry a black man to prevent her children from being cursed. Take a listen. Like Utah is not ready for this. Not I'm not ready for this. The church is not ready for this. He said, Utah is not ready for this. And I said, ready for what? He said, interracial marriage. This is not a good thing. So he's a priesthood holder and he is correct. You're not supposed to mix. And I was like, Okay, so we go to institute together. We don't commit any sexual sins. We are good friends. My kids love him. Seriously? And the bishop was, he was like sinking in his chair and he was like full of contempt and disdain. He was just like, okay, I already told you. I don't know what more you need me to tell you. So I just went home and I think I cried about that for months. The episode was uploaded this month to the podcast YouTube page, but snippets of her testimony have begun to circulate on other social media platforms such as TikTok. Congress uh, member Kwese Mfume has introduced a congressional resolution asking that the U.S. Postal Service issue a commemorative stamp for Congressman Elijah E. Cummings to honor his life and legacy. Cummings was born in Baltimore and went on to a 23-year career in Congress, representing Maryland's 7th Congressional District. In 2002, he became the chair of the Congressional Black Caucus and later became the chairman of the House Oversight and Reform Committee, where he 
helped lead the impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump. Now, the bill to honor a Cummings uh, with a commemorative stamp had 49 original co-sponsors in the House, as well as support of the Cummings family. Cummings died at the age of 68 back in October of 2019. Xavier University and Ochsner Health are teaming up to open a roughly $120 million medical school in the coming years, according to several news sources. It will be the first HBCU medical school in the state of Louisiana. Upon the historic announcement, New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell released a statement saying, quote, the formation of this partnership will further expand both New Orleans and Xavier as an academic center for the nation, building upon our rich community of higher education institutions and attracting students globally. Reports show only 5% of physicians nationally are African American. Let me tell you, this company just keeps giving it to us. Uncle Nearest Premium Whiskey, the top selling black owned spirits brand in the world, has announced the launch of its HBCU Old Fashioned Challenge, a nationwide initiative to raise $1 million for HBCUs. Now, the initiative kicked off uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day and runs through Black History Month and Women's uh, uh, Month. That's in March. The program will raise money to be distributed amongst the country's top 58 ranked HBCUs to use as they see fit. Uncle Nearest not only aims to raise money for these institutions, but to shine a light on their contributions to workforce, to the workforce diversity, and the role they play in economic mobility. For more information on the HBCU Old Fashioned Challenge, including a list of participating bars, restaurants, and retailers, and to follow along on the road to one million rays, visit Old Fashioned Cocktail Dot com. And these are your folks. I know these stories that we've been giving you uh, that uh, concern um, Uncle Nearest, uh, you've been very excited about, and this uh, no less serves as one of them. Yeah? Very excited. I mean, Uncle Nearest's story is an incredible story, mm -hmm. and anybody that's not familiar, I encourage you um, to check it out. It'll make you want to uh, seek out that uh, brand of premium seek whiskey. Sip. <laughs> seek and seek sip. Seek and sip, right? <laughs> But this sounds really cool. I'd never heard of sort of like an old fashioned mm -hmm. uh, challenge. And so, wow. you know, when I wrap up Whole 30, mm -hmm. uh, that may be uh, at the top of the list. <laughs> Want to join me? <laughs> I'm not on Whole 30. I can have a sip now. <laughs> yeah. I just, you know, I, it's just, I have to make it real, like light on the Uncle Nearest because it'll send me off somewhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got to go light, it, on, it, light it, on the brown, it, honey. It'll send you somewhere, it'll send somewhere over somewhere the rainbow. somewhere I don't want to go. <laughs> Light on the ground, but it's just a great, uh, amazing effort yeah. as that company just continues to soar and become an example and a leader, not only in that particular industry, the distillery industry, but just, you know, across, you know, the scope of, of black business. They just keep hitting goals and exceeding, um, you know, expectations. And uh, it's just wonderful to report, you know, on uh, folks like Uncle Nearest and other folks that we have a tendency to tap into here on Fox Souls Black Report, you know, when it comes to black mm -hmm. excellence. And, and folks just striving for the best. Well, I can say I'm not really surprised because the co-founders of Uncle Nearest, Fawn Weaver and Keith Weaver, have mm -hmm. a long track record mm -hmm. of giving back to the community. And so uh, I, I actually am not surprised by this, but I'm delighted to see it. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing. All right, up next, entertainment stories you don't want to miss out on. That's right. We'll be right back. You're watching Fox Souls Black Report. Sip and see.